Hey guys, I will be doing a book haul today and I wanted to talk about some Mockingjay release party news. So let's get started. My book haul that I did was at the Chapters bookstore and I just wanted to talk about bookstores for a moment and where I kind of get my books. I've been seeing uh, reviewers talk about their book hauls and where they get their books and I'm always interested to see where they get it because I'm not too familiar with these locations. It's always just good to know if I ever find myself in the States or um, somewhere uh, where I could get my books. Chapters is a really good place to get books. Um, McNally is an independent bookstore in Canada where I live. Beavers. Anyways, <laughs> let's get on with the haul, shall we? This book I got is by Ellie Carter, High Society. And I got this book because Megan the Book Addict reviewed this book and she mentioned that it was like Ocean's Eleven but with kids and that caught my attention right away and I had to see what it was all about because I love Ocean's Eleven and I love heist movies in general. There's something about action, suspense, thriller and when they do their jobs my mind gets blown every time. Yeah. So Heist Society by Ali Carter. The second book I got is The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak and this book was mentioned a few times by ex Miss Book Obsessed and she had rave comments about it and just had nothing but good things to say about it so I had to pick it up. This seems like a really interesting read and I look forward to reading it. I'm trying to look around for other books and Shiver, Linger came up and Beautiful Creatures Fallen and all those paranormal fantasy books came up but I wasn't kind of feeling fantasy at the moment. The ones I've been reading paranormal fantasy have been kind of disappointing for me as of late so I kind of wanted to take a break from that before jumping in in that genre again. A listen to my tomboy side of me. I love action and suspense and there doesn't have to be a lot of romance or any romance at all um, as long as there's good action, good characters, and plot line that's fine by me. So the book I got is called I Am Number Four by Pitticus Lore and I haven't seen any reviewers um, pick this book up or I haven't really heard much about it on the interweb. This book is about superheroes and superhuman powers. There are nine superhero type characters and like on the cover it says three are dead. One, two, and three have been killed off and they, they don't say who they are, they are trying to hunt down number four and I'm assuming he is the main character in this book and these nine superhuman characters look like us, they walk among us, they're trying to integrate into our society, and they have found them and killing, started killing them off. And I just want to know who they are and what they have in store and why they're killing them off and who are these superhuman characters. So I'm assuming this book is action-packed suspenseful. There's no indication of romance which is fine. So hopefully this is a good read. Usually when you're not going off of someone else's review you're kind of taking a chance on the books you buy. So that's kind of what I like about going in blind. Sometimes you find a real gem in the bookstores so hopefully I found one of them. I'll definitely let you know how this goes and what I think of it. So I'm very excited for that. The last book I got wasn't part of the initial haul I did yesterday, but it was from a while ago, but I thought I would include it. It is by Liba Bray, Going Bovine. And let's just look at the cover. Oh yes, there is a cow on its hind legs holding what seems to be a lawn gnome wearing sunglasses. And I thought this was the quirkiest, weirdest cover ever. People do tags and one of the questions is your favorite book cover. This instantly came to mind. I thought this was hilarious. And every time I was in chapters, this book would be front face 
on the bookshelf and every time I passed by it, it would catch my attention. So I had to pick it up. I had to read what the synopsis was inside. It's about a boy named Cameron and he finds out that he is going to die. He meets a sugar high angel that tells him there's a cure that uh, he could cheat death. And so he and this angel go on this road trip across America meeting these quirky weird characters, going on these weird adventures regarding the paranormal. The synopsis is just as weird as the cover. This is on the queue. Um, I'll probably be reading um, the three I have bought yesterday before I read this, but um, it's on the reading list. So that's the book haul. Let's talk about Mockingjay release party news. Apparently 30 chapters across Canada are doing release parties. So if you live in Canada, definitely check if your local chapters is doing it. We have fun activities in store for the release party. Apparently you get to design or make tribute costumes, you know, where they do the whole chariot thing. Um, apparently there is some costume making in there. What I'm really excited for is the cupcake decorating. You get to decorate PETA's cupcakes. So I thought that was so funny. I thought that was hilarious. I'm really excited for the Mockingjay release. Definitely if you're excited, I hope you guys have fun reading Mockingjay, have an awesome Mockingjay party, and we can discuss the awesomeness that is the Hunger Games. Yes? Yeah. Have fun. And um, maple syrup, snow, cold, can, um, um, and polar bears.